Now, this disbursement was to start this year. But some states, one or two states went to court to restrain. All that happened, and then the releases now started in October, just last month. What the federal government did do was to keep the share of each state. So by the time they started the releasing, Edo State got two tranches, two quarters per event in arrears. And what we got was 700 million per quarter. This is verifiable in our bank account just behind here at Sterling Bank. So we've received three quarterly releases so far. 700, 700, 700. That is what has come into the state coffers. And it is verifiable. It is in the bank. Office of the Accountant General has the records. So our share was 28 billion. Net is to be distributed over five years quarterly. That would be 20 quarterly instrumental releases. Three has come so far. Each has been 700, 700, 700. And how that money was spent, again, we have the records for anybody that wishes to see. Nigeria is that governors, even at the federal level, we put out budget. Capital expenditure versus recurrent expenditure. Development happens with capital expenditure. It is only Mr. Abbasi that has actually, by the time you audit the government's financials, you will see that for under Abbasi, capital expenditure is bigger than recurrent. And last year, we almost closed out at 90% actualization of the capital expenditure budget. Now, this is the reality. And this, in fact, last week, the governor received an award on behalf of Edo State Government from World Bank. They studied Edo State Government, all the states in the federation, over the last four years. The program is called the State's Fiscal Transparency, Accountability, and Sustainability Program. Federal government executed it with support from the World Bank. At the end of the program, now gave governors awards. Edo State's governor picked up an award for Edo State. They called it the, uh, the state with the most uh, efficient expenditure pattern, which means that they studied the spending in Edo State government. No padding, value for money, and you were actually delivering. And so they gave, it was only Edo State that got that award on expenditure efficiency. And this is from World Bank. So we are not talking about some entity that you can go and say, come, come and give this award. The World Bank gave that award to the governor last week. This state has judiciously used all the resources. We are not a rich state, but we are rich in human capital development, and we are rich in the sense that we have a lot of people who are able to manage our resources in such a way we get the major benefit from it. And that is why when the federal government a few days ago released the multi-dimensional poverty index. And those are just around the best states not suffering from poverty because we are using our money properly. We are not using it for fancy projects to make people or make the state look good. Instead, we are using it to build the system where people are taken care of to make sure that life is better for our people, not fancy projects. Now, under normal circumstances, we won't want to speak on a, on. A, because he doesn't have the moral authority to talk about transparency, accountability, especially when we have the most frugal government, the most transparent government Edo State has produced in the last 25, 30 years, which is this government headed by Governor Baseki. To have someone like Adam Soshomole question us is actually embarrassing. But we will not speak yet. We will wait for when he climbs the podium. We are lucky he's also contesting the election. At the right time, we will now call him to answer to Edo people. And we hope you people will be able to ask him these questions which I have raised. On an annual basis, our budget is usually between 250, million, 250 billion and 300 billion. What, is, what percentage of 250 billion is 2.1? It's less than 1%. So, so, so uh, I'm sure you, from there you can analyze how important this amount is compared to the budget that we're implementing already for the state. So, so it's not a fantastic amount that has come into the state. Yes, some governors try to use it to play politics, but these are the facts. Uh, we are journalists and media experts. That man there is a chartered accountant. He doesn't have any business with, uh, with you. I'm sure this is the first time you're seeing him in a press conference. So he's just here to crunch the numbers and give you the facts.